All right, everyone, today we start off talking about Virginia, where their idiot governor has passed a temporary state of emergency because he doesn't, he doesn't trust people with guns being anywhere near him. Um, he's also a bigot. So, I mean, this is an inept individual. He should have been forced out of office. It is surprising. It's astonishing to me how people actually took it seriously. When the, when the pro-left media circled wagons around him and said, no, 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 we don't want to remove him just because he was, he was literally like dressed up as a fucking minstrel years ago. It's funny because if he had an R after his name, he would have been forced to resign by his own party. It's funny how standards are work in reverse for the Democrats for pragmatic reasons, but if anyone else takes up pragmatism instead of ideology, uh, it suddenly becomes a form of bigotry. So Northam's an inept man. He's also a violent opportunist. I would not put it past him to foment violence at these rallies that are being planned, which resulted in the state of emergency being passed, which should be laughed at. Now, the state of emergency, emergency should say Antifa might show up and cause problems, and the gun owners might be forced to defend themselves, and then it could become a problem. That's how it should be worded. Instead, Northam is basically insinuating that evil far-righters, Nazis, are going to show up at the Capitol and start burning Obama effigies and shooting off machine guns. And blaming the wrong party. Look, even at Charlottesville, the problems at Charlottesville fundamentally began when far-left movements showed up and began to be violent. They were not simply being violent, by the way, because there were more than two groups involved towards the alt-right marchers. They were also attacking bystanders. And by the way, those bystanders are the ones that Trump called good people, but this got lost in the fog of the moment and a wall of propaganda, making it seem like he was going to invite Richard Spencer to the White House. Um, <laughs> so the fact that Northam is invoking Charlottesville, isn't that a red flag that he wants it to be another Charlottesville? The dude should have been kicked out of office long ago. He should be kicked out of office now. The gun control being considered that's led to this situation is the fundamental underlying problem. He is attempting, and the Democrats there are attempting, to violate the U.S. Constitution. Under SCOTUS decisions, the states must abide by the Second Amendment the same way the federal government does. It doesn't simply restrain federal power. It is, an ex an ex by extension, it restrains state power. The Tenth Amendment doesn't give the states any deliberate discourse, uh, I mean recourse, to be able to bypass the rest of the Constitution. The idea is that you'd have a problem. If the Constitution only pertained to the federal government, not to the states, the states could violate it, and as long as they came together in federal-level agreement, they could violate the Constitution nationwide, and as long as it didn't directly and explicitly involve a federal decision-making process, it would be considered okay. Well, this clearly isn't the, this isn't the meaning of the founders' uh, principles. This isn't what they had in mind. They had in mind that the states would obey the Constitution, too. That's why there are state constitutions. The state of Vermont constitution on the Second Amendment is arguably more expansive. I believe that's also true in Virginia. Uh, they're ignoring it anyway, because Northam is a paranoid man. Uh, he's a loser. He, he's exactly the kind of politician you don't want in power. He's the sort of machine politics, backroom deal, sort of just a slime bag that should have been kicked to the curb long ago. They should take him and dump him in the Potomac. Uh, but anyway... Any of my fans, I, su I support you not going to these rallies, and I'll tell you why. I think Northam's going to attempt to cause violence. Um, I, I think that either by standing back and allowing Antifa to do its thing, which is like what they did at Charlottesville, letting the far left attack people, you know, and then basically egging them on to defend themselves, and then calling them evil when they do, either that'll happen, or Northam will, will directly antagonize the situation, try to march in, I don't know, with the state guard or something. And so it could become a bloodbath, and then he'll hold that up on a pedestal and say, Look, this is the reason we need gun control. Evil, violent gun owners showed up from other states and started shooting, and we had to kill them. And they'll send their bodies back in pine caskets and stuff, and the nation will mourn, and the nation will blame the gun owners. Because that's exactly what they want. They want to use this propaganda. You know, you want, you want to know what I would do if I were organizing this? I'd say, okay, ha ha. At the last minute, like 12 hours before, I'd put out a mass email and say, oh, no, we're doing it a couple days later. By the way, we're not even going to bother showing up with guns. We're just going to make it clear that we're gun owners. I'd completely outflank the bastard because government can't move very quickly. And then, and then they and Antifa would be very sad. You see, Antifa needs extra money in order to book their hotels. They don't have jobs, so they have to get it from a Soros check. Uh, so, so they'd be up shit creek. They'd have to live you know, on the streets for several days, be miserable in that nice Virginia weather. 
That nice, that nice late January Virginia weather sitting, they'll have to build igloos maybe. Although because of global warming, supposedly, I guess they'll have to build mud huts instead. Uh, <laughs> anyway, well, at the very least, it'll smell like them. Uh, anyway, with regards to Northam, he's a crook. Uh, he's crook. He should be out of office. Um, the, the rallies at this point, because of the, the uh, guard probably being called in, the state of emergency, it's a powder keg situation. But the one at Fallford is really Northam and the Democrats. And let me issue a warning here for 2020. This is what you will get nationwide if we allow the Democrats to take the Senate and the presidency. They will try to push this nationwide. Obviously, at this point, if they're willing to do this in a state that only barely leans blue, where they don't have a huge majority and could easily lose it next term, they obviously are willing to push the envelope in a way that they haven't before. They've become fanatics, some of these people. We must do everything that we can to stop them from succeeding. Because otherwise, instead of having a situation where you could have some hundreds of people maybe killed in Virginia, uh, you know, pending the, the federal courts inevitably ruling most of this gun control unconstitutional, which it clearly is, instead of having a few hundred dead or maybe a thousand dead, you'd have a million people dead. It, it, would, be, it would be terrible. Uh, and, and this is what some of these people want. Some of these people want like Antifa. Antifa hates the United States, like explicitly, thinks it's an imperialistic, capitalistic, evil, uh, crooked machine. But they would love it if a bunch of Americans died and it started to harm the economy and then the social structure of the nation so that it started to be denigrated and fall apart. They would love it if the sort of decadence and corruption we see only in the inner city usually would, would seep its way out into the suburbs and small town communities. They'd love it. And <laughs> they'd enjoy it very, very much. So don't give in to them meet these stupid bastards in court and win, which you inevitably will if you have competent legal teams at all, Northam's position is untenable. The idea that the Second Amendment is, is a document of, you have the right to keep arms, but the government has the right to determine what those arms will be, how many rounds those arms can hold, where you can train with those arms, they have a right to tax you on those arms, they have a right to tell you where you can carry or can't carry those arms, they have the right to restrict arms from other states that are more lean... None of this is in the Second Amendment. Court case after court case, when they are decided at all, have been found largely in favor of gun owners. For the most part, even in the Ninth Circuit in some cases, the decisions are for gun owners. They are for the NRA. They are for the right to keep and bear arms in civilian hands. Yes, that includes even military-style weapons, and explicitly military weapons. You know, the only reason that we're not living in a pro-gun utopia right now is that SCOTUS usually, and this is normally a good thing, but in this case is a bad thing, and this is the problem of SCOTUS, uh, that you're damned if you do, damned if you don't. SCOTUS often will simply refuse to hear a case, punts it back down to a lower court, and it dies there. That's what happens. Because usually some group of gun owners, they don't have deep pockets like Michael Bloomberg does. And Bloomberg, by the way, is responsible for a lot of this problem anyway. You should vote against the Democrats in 2020. Yes, down ballot too. Yes, that includes your beloved state incumbent who brings in so much money to your state. Yes, it includes them too, the pork barrel Democrat down ballot crowd. Vote them out. Because otherwise you're going to see this nationwide and it's going to become a huge fucking problem. Even if you agree with the gun control itself, you can, can, can you understand that the Democrats overstretched here? strategically overplayed their hand and are about to possibly cause mass violence. You do understand that, right? Those are, you know, individual private citizens, most of which have no criminal record or violent thoughts at all. They could get killed. And you're going to have to see it, too, by the way. The Internet's going to make it more real for you, and these people will be, like, pity-tweeting on Twitter, and it'll be a funny thing to watch them suffer. It'll be a funny thing to watch them to pretend to care when they're seeing their fellow citizens cut down, maybe by the cops or Antifa or something. It's about, that's about what will probably happen. That's about all. Peace out.